can get her to Your superiors anything. are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Let's remember that next time Shepard sets us up against impossible odds. Twice a day, on average. Most of the time, I'm not being stupid about it. Welcome to the metagame with Oni Black Mage, and today we'll be covering Mass Effect 2. Now, Mass Effect 2 returns as the moral choice making, gunslinging sci fi RPG we've come to love. Now, just like the last one, you can have as many Shepherds with as many save files on each one as you like. But the important thing in this one is the New Game Plus and importing your character from Mass Effect 1. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as we would like it to be. Now, in order to import your Mass Effect 1 character, you're going to need an endgame autosave from the first Mass Effect, and it has to be on the same console. This means that you can't just import it from a save file from another console. What this means is you have to beat Saren, get to the credits, let the credits pass, let the game save, and then do nothing else. And this has to be on the same console you're going to play Mass Effect 2 on. Once you do that, put in Mass Effect 2, and the game will find that autosave file and allow you to import your old character. Now when you import them in, you're going to get a huge bonus depending on how strong you were at the time. For example, with my level 60 character, I got 4,000 extra XP, which is will allow me to start at level 5, 50,000 credits, 10,000 of each resource, and in addition to being a rich character with over 1 million credits, I also had an additional 100,000 credits given to me, and for some reason, I'm not sure why or how it's calculated, I also got a bonus 190 Paragon points. Now, once you complete Mass Effect 2, whether or not it's with a Mass Effect 1 character or not, you also get to start off with a nice new Game Plus bonus. You get to choose a loyalty bonus skill at the start. You also get to retrain all your skill points from the first playthrough. Everybody gets a 25% bonus experience. You get 200,000 credits, 50,000 of each resource. And while your Renegade and Paragon points are set to neutral, you get to keep all the weapons and armor, but not their upgrades, from your first playthrough. For the class you want to choose, Given how the game is now way more focused on cover-based, fast-paced, and ammo-based combat, the Soldier and the Sentinel are really your prime choices. However, each of the classes are very doable in terms of game completion, so just play whatever you want. Just make sure to use your biotics often. Now, if you're going to our Insanity mode, it really helps to play through the game once on a lower difficulty, then import your Mass Effect 2 character. The reason why is you really want to choose the power that's really going to help you get through Insanity Mode, probably Reeve is your best choice. The starting power, the extra power, are really going to help you through. Now, as far as missables for the game, the main thing that you can miss is loyalty from a lot of your squad mates. It's incredibly important to gain loyalty, not only to upgrade your ship and ensure that your team survives a suicide mission, but also unlock the future power that you can pick for your next character. At the same time, any powers they unlock now, you can pick up with your current character. You just get it for free later. Now, remember, you don't want to bring any non-loyal teammates with you in the final mission and select them as uh, whatever captains you're going to use on. And I'll explain that in just a minute. Because the odds are they will die. They also may die during the ensuing cutscene. So, make sure you gain loyalty for everybody before going in through the Omega-4 Relay. Getting loyalty not only gives you access to their locked powers, but it also helps as far as allowing you to be a better person, with a lot of passive bonuses. At endgame, you're going to need to choose a lot of the correct specialists, and make sure that you choose the ones that are loyal to you, just in case you don't. When you have to select the tech to go in the shaft, select Tally or Legion. When you have to choose a squad leader, you're going to want to choose Garrus or Miranda for both times. When you have to choose someone to erect a shield to get past the swarm, you're going to want to choose either Samara or Jack. When it comes time to rescue the survivors, it's going to give you the option to escort them back to the Normandy. Escort them and send either Grunt, Jacob, or Morden with them. For the planet, the galaxy is very large, but it's also very traversable. It's very recommended to do the planets with side missions first. Not only do you earn money, which is a precious resource in this game, but you also earn a lot of squad upgrades for free. The missions are also very brief, and by brief I mean usually 20 minutes or less. Some side missions also unlock further side missions. To find some of these nebulas, what you're going to need to do is actually purchase star charts from Berias and Ilium in order to enable more. 
But don't worry, you don't have to mine every planet to get what you need as well. Here's a brief list of every single one of the planets that are, when you scan them, going to give you an anomaly that will give you a side quest. Mining is very important in this game. However, you don't really have to mine everything. Only bother mining on planets that are rich. And what that means is that there are at least 10 scams on the planet that will net anywhere from 1500 to 3000 of that resource. Element Zero is your most rare element. And here are the planets that have them in rich amounts. I'm sorry. I know that was important, but you performed Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morton. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Alright, I hope all this helped a lot. And hopefully makes Mass Effect 2 an even better experience for you. So, send any comments my way or any questions. And remember, I'm OBM, and thanks for watching the metagame.